Hi, my name is Ian. I'm one of the teachers of the Gardner Museum's ceramic studio. While we're closed, we wanted to keep in touch by challenging you to make a cup out of materials that you have at home. I'm going to make a cup out of paper, but you can make it out of whatever you have around your home. I'm going to make the body of the cup out of this piece of paper. Uh, you could use something like secondhand from the recycling bin, but I got a fresh one here. And to start getting my cone shape that I want to make, I'm going to take a dinner plate size plate and put it about one third of the way over the paper there. And just draw the edge of the plate like so. Then I've got this tool that I've prepared ahead of time. Just two pencils, a bit of tape, and a piece of cereal box. Okay, so I've got the two pencils taped on there about four inches apart. And that gives me a kind of a compass that I can use to make my curve. So I'll hold it there on an angle and start right at the very front top edge of the paper there. And then bring it down, hold it against the plate, and just curve it as you go and come all the way to the bottom of the paper there. You can take the plate away. Then, so we've got a nice arch there. Then we're going to come in with our pencil and put our end lines. Okay, so right to the edge of the paper. It's always good to make it as big as possible. Come over to my edge here too. And put a line down here. I'm kind of picturing where the center of the plate might be. And that's what my ruler is aiming for down there. Okay, so I've got my fan shape. Before I cut it out, I'm just going to put a little pattern on and get a little decoration color happening. Just before I cut it, also, I want to get a little bit of some darts cut out of the bottom. So I'm going to repeat the bottom here. I'm just eyeballing this. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle there. Then I need five marks through here. And just you know, get in a rhythm there and get your five marks there. And we're going to cut a little dart out of each one. Let's put the edge up there. So now, Cut the lines that we've prepared. And then I'll come in and cut the little charts out. So I've got my fan shape there. I've got a little tape at the side and I'm going to roll this around. Overlap it just about a quarter inch there. Possibly, you know, you might be coming back to the museum someday soon to make it out of clay. So you would need a piece of clay about this shape if you want to make a paper template ahead of time. It's always a good idea. Even with the clay, it's going to overlap a quarter inch. Then we'll bring in some of these bits of tape. Okay, and it can stand up already, but these little tabs are really going to help to attach the bottom. Now I'm going to start to fold the tabs down. So they're tucked inside there. Then we're going to just prepare to attach the bottom with these bits of tape. So you just pull them up a little bit and stick the tape on there. So the tape is face up as I stick it under here and it's attached to the underside of the tab. Then we just need to get that last one. And this one is the little awkward one because it's where that seam came together. So we get the tape in there. Bit of a cereal box here and just bring my cup down into it and this I can use to push the tape down onto the base. Now we've got contact. Nice joint there. Then I'll come in with the scissors. So this is just like I'd attach a clay bottom pretty much except I'd use a knife to cut it off. And the bottom fits the base of the cup snug. Our cup sits really nice and you could just have a tumbler at this point but in terms of making a handle so got my paper there I'm gonna cut a rectangle out of this now that it's got a little old line on it but that's okay because we're gonna come in with some decoration lots of color here bring in the two colors I used on the cup so we're going to put it face down, we're going to fold it one third back on itself and then one third from the other side too, tuck it there. So we got our decorated stripe strip handle there and give it a little flex there. 
bring in a bit of my tape. So I'm gonna tape it from the underside. Put it there. I'm gonna bring it in where that joint of the two pieces of paper is on the cup and tape my handle right there. Okay. Usually we do the same thing with clay there. Wherever the seam was, we put the handle in that area. And I'll just show two handles. I could do a ring handle, which would be kind of neat. Put the tape inside of there. Okay. Or I can do a more traditional kind of pulled sort of handle. And that's what I'll do for here. In this case, you put the tape on top of there. Roll your piece around. Put one hand inside and then tape your handle onto the cup through there. Okay. Flex it out. And there we go with our neat little cup. The box board gives it a little weight on the bottom that helps to hold it in place. So I hope you can come by the museum sometime when everything reopens and then make a real cup out of clay and get it fired up and have one that you could use. Show us your results at hashtag gardener from home. Thanks for watching.